Hey guys, Boom Rushmere back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make lots of money in Hypixel Skyblock. First thing you want to do is, oh no, first thing you want to do is go to the hub, and so you, what you what what you want to do is you want to travel. So you're gonna be right here. You want to travel here and go to the spider's den. That's that's right over there. And once you're at the spider's den. Just farm some gravel until you are gravel 4, which is 1,000 gravel, and you have unlock the sharpness 4 recipe. Pretty easy. And then you want to grind out level 7 mining, level 7 combat, and level 7 farming to unlock the bazaar. What you want to do with the bazaar is you want to open this. Well, first off, so yeah, what you want to do is you open this, and then you go to wood. You want to buy some oak planks, particularly about a stack right here. And then, there you go. You bought a stack. And then what else we're going to buy is we're going to buy a stack of iron. And then we're going to buy, create by order, a big stack of flint. And then after the flint, we are going to go to farming and we're going to buy a hunk of amount, 1,000 pieces of sugar cane. Oh, uh, well. This should all total out to about, uh, about 7,000 coins, which is pretty easy to get. You just have to farm some wood for a bit. So 1024, let me buy that instantly, 1024. And boom. You have some coins, I mean, not coins, but you have things. You buy that. And I can cancel this because I already have it. But basically, I'm just going to resell that off. But basically, then, once you have all that, you want to... You're going to need a lot of... Um, you're going to need a lot of lapis collection. Uh, you can get the lapis 2 for experience bottles, but I suggest getting to lapis 5 so you can get grand XP bottles. Not that expensive. It should only cost you around, like... 2k to make one so if we go here we're gonna buy seven so it cost me about oh, three grand three and a half grand and then i'm gonna go back here behind the bank wait where is it um oh yeah this side near the farming boy that can be your main starting way you need farming 10 uh participate in his farming challenges so in, a, in like 40 minutes, he's gonna have the sugar cane, farm some sugar cane on the island, about an easy 20 to 30,000. Very easy. I'm gonna get to the brewing person back here, the alchemist, buy one glass bottle for six coins. Then, you're gonna go back to Bazaar Boy, and once you have that lapis collection done, you want to collect your lapis, open your crafting table, and place your lapis just like this, place your glass bottle get a grand xp bottle easy so then you can splash this on yourself i'm splashing a person or takes it boom at level 38 instantly i made a mistake you actually need uh six so you can just sell that right back for a little bit of profit if you want now what you want to do is get to your island and then you just want to grind out making books so right over here you want to grab about three stacks of paper I'm gonna grab six, two stacks. Basically, for every three stacks of paper, you wanna grab one stack of flint. And then I'm gonna grab a stack of, um, half a stack of sticks and a stack of iron. You wanna place this here and fill your inventory until two slots are left right there. Then you wanna fill that back up. You wanna place your three paper stacks in here like this. Place your flint like that. And then use the tedious bit. You're gonna craft your books just like this. Now, now it, all of this together probably cost around ten to fifteen thousand, which sounds like a lot of money, but it's really not once you start this. So I'm just gonna finish crafting all this. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Now what you wanna do with your levels is. You want to combine these together and just make a bunch of sharpness books. Sharpness 5, 
and sharpness five. Four sharpness five books, pretty easy, well done. And you wanna put all this back. You can make way more if you want, but I'm just gonna do four. You wanna travel to the hub. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna open auction house. And then you wanna search sharp, go to consumables, go to the very end and click on bin only right here. Bin only and get to the very end and you're gonna see a bunch of books. So this right here, so look, Sharpness 5 selling by, by this one guy right here. Maddie Game Place underscore for 30,000. And Sharpness over here for 22,000. And this for 3,000. If there's only one book for 3,000, then you can just illuminate that. So then right here, uh, this is sold. But basically what you wanna do, so this is 30,000, you want to sell this under that. So what we can do, is since they're since this one is sold which oh oh no all right he's putting up more stuff so this is thirty five thousand and these are forty thousand so right here thirty thousand right we're gonna go to this man it's auctions and basically what you want to do is create an auction put in your sharpness five books and i will sell it for twenty five thousand you want to you want to have the lowest price that, that you can get Put that in, 25,000 for each and every book. I usually do 20,000, but the more you do this, the more people will catch on. So uh, earlier I did this for an hour maybe, and I gained um, like 500 grand or something. That's how I bought uh, Young Armor. I bought a full set of Superior. I mean, not Superior, Unstable. I keep saying Superior, but I bought a full set of Unstable. Um, and with that full set, I just sold it back because I figured out uh, Young is better. I had Farming Boost from before, but um, now you can just grab a lot of money. So, look, so after this is run dry. So we have four enchanting books. That's pretty neat. Now let's put on a timer on screen. And I'm just going to run around AFK and do whatever, whatever, like creating more books. And it's going to be sped out about 25 times, or I'll put however many on screen right now. And we are just going to continue. So let's see how long that takes while I go create some books. And right there, boys. I didn't even get to finish making my first book, and it already sold for twenty-five thousand. We claim our auction. We now have one hundred sixty-nine thousand one hundred seventy-eight coins. And if we go here, I mean, no, not here. Go to consumables. Has anyone beat us lower in the price? Nope. We are still coming out on top. Usually, books with multiple enchantments, like this one with fire aspect, fortune, protection, and sharpness, are usually um, enchantment table ones. So they're not usually as great. So what mainly people want was just the pure ones. So this is sharpness five for 30 grand. But over here, I have three sharpness five books for 25 grand. Why would you spend five extra grand on sharpness five when you can just get it for 5,000 coins cheaper? It doesn't make sense. So then after that's sold, you can just continue doing whatever. Just make sure you remember the replenisher stock, your stock. And whenever you start seeing it go down to around 10K, you can continue selling. But at that point, it's probably not worth it. As soon as it goes below uh, 10K, you don't really want to do anything. You can probably wait a, like an hour or two and you can make a major profit off of that. So yeah. And then once once that's replenished and no one's really um, that extreme about uh, buying the things anymore, then you can easily just go back to it and make a major profit. So yeah, as soon as people are just like, all right, cool, too low, and then they stop, then a couple, then like an hour or two later, easy money, you can pick it back up where you were. 
another cell. And when you pick it up where you left off, it's an easy money to grab. Pretty easy money. So yeah, that's basically all it is to this. You just, the only hard part is pro, another sale. Basically the only hard part is getting about 12k for the beginning bit, but once you're off of that, you're pretty much set. And you have to get collection. Or you, you could just buy, um, you could just, uh, what I do is sometimes I just go to auction house and I see people are cheaper than me. Like if I go here, I see how I have these over here. I, I only have one left because people bought all mine. But if I go here, uh, you see I have a pure sharpness book, but none of these are has more stuff. You don't want this because it has thorns. But these two, I would probably buy it out, and then I would probably sell it to a different person. Like, hey, look, or just like go on my island and be like, hey, yo, come over here, first person to come gets a free book or something. And then uh, I just sell that out, oh, and my book sold. All right, so basically now 25 grand is gone. People are gonna see that they can do 25 grand, most likely, and then they're gonna do it. I might I might delete this video after a while, just so people don't um, just so people don't like come over and just yoink my um, just so it doesn't crash the place where I can just get a bunch of my money, which is how I got my. Um, I can easily just buy um, some more young armor, but like I don't want to right now because I would go halfway down in my profit. Oh yeah, also what you can do is after you earn a lot of money with that, if you want to get a quick mail or a long term investment, you can set up some snow minions, you go to hub, um, go to Mr. Bizarre Boy over here. And then uh, you can go to all of these gifts. You can probably buy a bunch of white gifts. It only took me like um, 20 gifts or something to get uh, a snow minion. And if you're lucky enough, you're, the person that you're sharing it with might give you their, their snow minion that they got. Or they're just going to keep it. But once you do that, you just get a snow minion. Snow minions are like the best minions. Um, here we go. I suggest putting a super compactor, which is about 500,000 or something or so. But once that's done, you can easily just make a lot of money. So right now, I almost have a million. I actually only had a million by selling tier 11 snow minions. So that, that was a long-term investment I did. Um, oh, no, wait, I gotta put this back up. Uh, you, you, but you can guys go bid, uh, I mean, not bid, buy this. And, um, yeah. Basically, that's all I wanted to do. Um, don't sell Shrimness 4 books. No one will buy them, really. I've tried it, and it doesn't go well. Plus, you can always put, like, if someone's selling you a Shrimness 4 book for, like, 10 grand, you can, you, oh, someone just bought my barrier. Oh, okay. You can just buy oh he's gonna have a very bad time because it's just gonna disappear <laughs> basically um if you see someone selling like shrimp's four book for 10 grand just sell shrimp's five book for 15 grand because if you buy two of their shrimp's four books it's gonna equal out to 20,000 plus experience levels which they don't want to use and you already have it for much cheaper so yeah, that's how you make money in Hypixel Skyblock very well. I'm probably going to delete the video after a couple, not hours, but like, after a bit. Just so other people's strategies don't get ruined. Like, I mean, not probably like not delete it, but like private it. And also, once I hit 600, I mean, once I hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing... A, um, I'm gonna be doing a Zoomer Dragon, a full Zoomer Dragon giveaway. So it's gonna be a full Young Dragon set giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. 
And besides that, I want to wish you all good luck on your adventure. Goodbye.